what's going on guys, this is Roman again for Strength Light doing, um, trying to shoot this video again because my battery died. Um, but what I really want to talk about today is perseverance and uh, how that really relates to your goals and motivation and everything. Um, it, it comes down to somebody actually asked me about, you know, how do I, how, how do I say that I'm unmotivated at times but I still get up and get, you know, get out and do something. How, how do I, how do I do that? How do, how do I find the courage or the drive to do the things that I really don't want to do? Uh, how am I always knotted up on my muscles and soreness and pain, even though I you know, stretch and roll everything out? How, how do I keep on going through all the crap that I've been through? Um, and, and it's really just, uh, it's like, it's like do, do you look for an emotional thing? Do you, do you look for a, for, for a drive? Do you look for motivation? Do you go to something? And really, no, I really don't. I really look at, what do I want to be? What are my goals? What, what am I doing with my life? Um, if I use my own personal life as motivation, it's just like, it's, if I use my own personal life as motivation to do the things I need to do, I would get nothing done. Um, my personal life is very boring, <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, I train, so. So that's what I, I focus on a lot of times. I, I kind of do that more than I do talk to other people. <laughs> I really do worry more about how I'm gonna focus on, you know, getting my endurance up or my stamina and my, my strength going or how can I get this, the, the strength that I've been working on for the past year or so into more functional strength. How can I work on getting this to where I'm gonna be ready for the stuff that are coming up this month. So it's like, I try not to think about the things that I don't have because if I focus on that, then it's like, well, I've always been without that, so why would I focus on what I don't have and what I need and all this? It's like, like why would I mix the emotional stuff with, with what everything else is going on? So, so when people have problems in their personal lives, it's like, you know, you, you lived your life without that person before, or um, just like you didn't have, like, oh, I need, I need to go freaking get my energy drink before I go. I'm like, no, you don't. You don't need all this other crazy shit. You don't need all these crazy supplements and stuff. It's like, why do you, you don't need that. You didn't have it to begin with, so why do you need it now? I mean, you're not like, some, you're, if you're not getting paid to do all this stuff, so you don't really need it. It's like, it's like when people go to like a bike ride or something like that, and they, they it's like, oh, I need my, my carbs. I'm like, if you're not diabetic, you don't need it. You're not going to be out here for three, five, three to five hours, and it's not like 100 degrees out. I mean, I can ride for two to three hours without having all that stuff. I'm borderline asthmatic. I, I have problems with the uh, blood pressure and stuff. It's just like I have all these other problems that like you don't really need it. Um, in fact, it'll actually make it worse. But but getting back to it, it's like, you know, people make excuses to, to basically set themselves back to where they're not going to do it because deep down inside, they don't want to do it. Um, they, they lack the motivation within themselves to really go they don't have a goal that they really want to get to. Because when somebody says they make an excuse, it's like, all right, well, I guess you don't really want to do this. It's like, oh, I'm gonna do this, this race in a couple weeks. Well, if you're not gonna go out and train, then I guess you really don't want to fucking do it. I guess you really don't want to train. I guess you really don't want to win. If you're gonna go and compete and say that you're gonna win, but you don't want to put in the work to go do it, then you really don't want to do it. <laughs> uh, and that's why I do my my training that I do. Um, I, it hurts, I freaking hate it sometimes. I, I drag myself in the gym. It's like, I don't want to do this. I'm just gonna push the weight around and just like, and then after I actually get started, I'm like, all right, cool. I'm gonna go do this and I feel good until it's already in the workout. I'm like, ah, oh, I've been too long here. <laughs> but I just like, it's like, it's not really about, you know, like it, it sucks. You drudge through all the stuff. It's like dragging your feet through mud, trying to walk across the street. <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, things that are difficult now as you're progressing on and on and on and on to the point of your event all this stuff here it doesn't feel like it's that much at all you get here that is easy this is where you need to be this is where your next level of uh, self evolution or whatever you want to call it or self progression is actually going to be at. It's, it's when you actually compete in something or actually do an event or you actually get to do something it, it comes down to you got to find the reason why you train and it's not about how much you love training because you, you do it because of something. So if you work out to, if you work out for your ego, for like uh, getting girls or getting guys or whatever you want, or have you, or to try to look pretty and all that shit, that's a stupid goal. Uh, do it for yourself, do it for your own health, do it for 
competing in something. Find something that you can compete in, even if it's your own personal goals or like say, it's like, you know what? I know this person right here can do this, so I wanna be able to do that or I wanna be better or it's like, you know what? I wanna be stronger than every, like say you're a girl, it's like I wanna be stronger than every other girl in the gym or uh, I wanna be uh, competitive this. It's not really competitive, just freaking go do a mud run or something like that and be like, I wanna go be able to do this. So you take your butt to the gym and you go freaking, you, you do the work. You, you have to put in all the hard work for it. I mean, yeah, 5K, you don't really need to. You can freaking basically jog all that shit or walk it if you really want to. But it's really coming down to, you know, perseverance. It's, it's like, well, life throws an anchor on your shoulder and you have to drag that shit. Well, you're going to drag it up because it's in your way. It's holding on to you until it's ready to release. And through all of it, it makes you a stronger person. Um, it, it's basically, you, you drudge through all the hardest parts of your life in order to become a stronger person. Because if you give up now, then it's like, you're always gonna regret the next step that you're gonna go do. So when I get up and get out and do something, I don't always wanna do it. But it's, it's what is it? I think a lot of people put it as uh, doing the thing that you have to do to get to where you wanna go, even if you don't wanna do it. So if waking up early is a thing that you need to do every day, just so you can get a start on your day, well, you gotta do it. Even if you're a person that likes to sleep in, patch your alarm, freaking do something to wake yourself up or go to sleep on time or whatever the hell it is. This is basically reorganize everything that you need to do to get the things that you need to get done. Um, but I guess I'm gonna stop that there because I was gonna talk about my training and stuff's going on. So uh, follow me at doing.com. I need to put a new blog up, uh, facebook.com slash strength by doing and strength or Twitter as strength by doing, which I don't really update that much, but it is what it is. Um, just get up, get out and do something. Um, freaking drag yourself through it. Um, if you're, if you're not happy, cut out the things that like, you know, forget all that shit. If you need to do what you need to do, I mean, I'm here to help people out. So if you got questions, I'll be able to help out if I can. Uh, even if it's something you don't want to hear. If it's something that's like, it's like, oh, I keep on doing this situation, but, but then you, if you're being hypocritical with yourself, cut that shit out. If you say you don't like something and you go back to it, cut that crap out. <laughs> it's like, just basically set aside and, and back to where my original videos is, you know, write down what you need to do, write down your goals, and keep yourself focused. Hell, if, you, if you're a person that needs a visual update, freaking put it on, like, put it on a sticker on a wall, put it on some of your car, put it Put it like hanging from your freaking rear view mirror. Put it like, put like a something on your desk or something, or something where you always know what you gotta go. Hell, put a picture of like somebody working out or something like that. Like, like oh, I, I want to look like that. It's like you gotta have your goals visualized sometimes, and some people, some people need that. So you know what? Get out there and freaking do it. Um, that's all I really got to say. Uh, but you know, all the fun stuff. Uh, for everything else that's kind of said, I'm kind of ranting on. Uh, I just finished up my coffee a little while ago, so just kind of, <laughs> All right, guys, uh, take care.